Hello, welcome. Thank if you. you don't mind introducing yourself and showing us your name tag um, to begin with, that would be great. My name is Adedayo Mark Adeyemi, and I am the erstwhile uh, uh, special assistant to the general manager of Gusti Water Corporation. But recently, I, I just got disengaged from the assignment, and I'm also promoting the Nigeria Water Forum which is still in the infancy stage. Uh, I am an economist and I'm, I also believe I'm a water expert, been in the industry for some time and I was responsible for the sector reform, the institutional engineering, uh, you know, and then I'm also a PPP specialist. As a water expert, what do you want to bring to World Water Week this year? Number one, I'm bringing in a kind of a kind of model for finance, particularly for developing countries, because against some uh, position that our problem is not financial, I believe we have to address the issue of financial problems, challenges. So I'm looking at the possibility of bridging the gap of finance, addressing the issue of uh, sources of finance, and I'm looking at the possibility of getting the PPP model attract some subsidized loans, no subsidization options, and then a kind of hybrid PPP uh, model. And by PPP, what do you I mean? mean? Public-private partnership. Okay. And my basic focus is, is actually addressing the, the issue of risk allocation. You know, I mean, the, in water is not as straightforward as uh, telecommunication. Mm -hmm. So it is not a a, a, an easy pick for operators, for private sector operators. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, in the past, some people had entered believing that they would be able to get resources, mm -hmm. like, you know, returns, and it was not like that. And so, how will this new model um, change change finances for water in the future? Well, first of all, the new model recognizes the risk elements. So the new model transfers minimum risk to the private sector operator in the first few years of operations. My belief is across vertical lines, the production and the distribution, which which has the I mean enormous resources requirement, is addressed through loan subsidization from development partners, you know. And then the others uh, uh, smaller issues like meters, like service connections, like management, mm -hmm. then the PPP mm -hmm. could bring such funds. Those funds could be a shorter term funds. Mm -hmm. They could be more expensive, but you've taken the larger chunk of the funds, which is a long term, you know, for plants, mm -hmm. for... It helps planning. You know, it helps planning, and then the depreciation is over a longer time. Okay. When you take that chunk of risk off the PPP operator, mm -hmm. you can reward him based on his performance. And then over time, when the system is developed, built up, then the, you can begin to, you know, take, you know, give him more risk. Okay. In between, the government should also be ready to play some role at the point bringing subsidies, but you have to give comfort to the PPP operator, you understand, and there's a, an enormous political uh, political will required okay. in this process, yes. and then the commitment of development partners, so that everybody's interest is, you know, is identified. Those risk elements are appropriately mitigated. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. That's Thank very you. interesting.